Hello, welcome back to Math 7. Today we are starting our new unit where we're talking about angles and triangles. Today we're going to talk about complementary and supplementary angles. Now, angles, as we've mentioned, can be uh, two rays with a common endpoint, or we can think about them as a measure of rotation. Now, angles can be named several different ways. And mostly we're going to be, uh, so angles can be named many ways based on their characteristics. So we're going to focus on different families of angles and how we measure them. This is a protractor, and this is how we're going to measure the amount of rotation. Generally, we put the vertex here at this point F, and then we line up one ray with our zero. Notice that there's a zero on both sides. So when we're reading this way, we would read on the outside of the protractor, protractor whereas if we're reading from this side, we would read on the inside. All right? So what, let's go ahead and look. It says, what is the measure of CFE? So if we started from C, we went from F, we went to E. So we're thinking of this ray, FC, turning into this ray, FE. Well, we're starting at 0, and we're going 80 degrees. So that one would be 80 degrees. Now, uh, often we're going to use a small circle, uh, sort of like an, in the exponent position for a degree, However, that is not easy for me to type right now, so I'm just going to type 80 degrees. Now let's look at AFC. So we're going to AFC. Here's our zero points. We're actually going to count the on the outside. So we've got 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 degrees. So this one is 100 degrees. And that's a measure of the angle. Now we've got different types of angles. Uh, here are some of our families of angles, and you do need to know all of these names. They're all very important for us. An acute angle is the angle that measures less than 90 degrees. All right, now if we think about those angles, oops, let me move that over so that matches up there. Uh, we've got several different angles here. We could say angle AFB, right? And normally we put a little angle symbol in here. I'm going to see if there is one. So let's go ahead and insert a special character. And let's look for angle. And does it give us, ooh, there is the angle system symbol. And there's another one, a measured angle system symbol. So let's go ahead and just use our standard angle symbol. Uh, and then we'll just copy that as we need. So another one that we could do is we could actually start with uh, angle BFC. Okay, now F should always be in our middle uh, because that's where our vertices line up, all of our different vertexes. And vertex plural is vertices. It's kind of a weird one. Uh, but there's lots of them. So we could do B, F, D, D, F, E, E, F, D. That would be the same angle, but written in a different direction. C, F, E. Any of those angles that are less than 90 degrees would be fine. So an obtuse angle is an angle that measures between... Uh, oh, not between, but between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. All right, now, uh, that one, so we need to go, starting point, we need to go past 90. So there, uh, angle AFC would work. Angle uh, BFE would work. Angle, and no, I'm just copying that angle symbol. Uh, AFD would work. So we've got lots of angles that would be there. Now a right angle is an angle that measures exactly, exactly 90 degrees. Okay. And the only one that we have here that is exactly 90 degrees is BFD. And let's look at that. It's starting at 60 and ending at 150. 
So 60, that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So our angle was angle BFD. All right. Now, a straight angle, that's what forms a straight line. Well, that has to measure exactly 180 degrees. And in our case, we've got AFE. All right. Now, these are all the different sort of uh, single angle definitions we have. So if we're talking about a single angle, we can say it's acute, it's obtuse, it's right, or it's a straight angle. Those are the, the main uh, ones that we're going to talk about. We also have the zero angle, and that's where we have two rays that are pointed in the exact same direction. But these two new phrases, complementary and supplementary, which you'll notice are important because they're literally the title of today's lesson, uh, focus on a pair of angles and it shows how they're related. So a pair of angles that have uh, a sum of 90 degrees. All right, a sum of 90 degrees. And in fact, insert special symbol we're going to go ahead and just type in degree and look there it is right there there's our little degree symbol so I can copy that one too so we're often going to write it as that sort of degree symbol there all right now that means that the measure of the two angles adds up to 90 degrees so in our case we've got our pair of angles that add up to 90 is this BFC and this CFD. Oh, let me get that angle symbol. So in our case, again, it was BFC and uh, CFD. So remember, complementary angles always come as a pair, and the two angles, when, at, when we add up their measures, add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles, well, the pair of angles uh, that have a sum of measures, and the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. And I'm just going to copy that degree symbol. Control C, Control V, but then I want the angle symbol. And my first angle is angle, say, AFD. And what other angle, what other angle would get us uh, up to a straight one? Well, that would be DFE. Okay. So those are our two angles. Now, remember that you can pause the video at any time to go ahead and catch up with your notes, but we're going to go ahead and go on to page two. Now, let's look at these. We're going to talk about writing equations and figuring out stuff, and we're going to be talking about the measure. So by writing and solving equations, we can determine, determine the missing angle measure in various uh, re angle relationships. So let's think about this angle. This forms a straight line, so our equation is something like 136 plus x has to equal 180. So we used the fact that this was a straight angle here, and these two pieces um, make up that straight angle, and there we have our equation. We could go back and solve for that x there and figure out what this missing angle was. And in fact, then we can do that and say, go ahead and try to pause the video here, fill that one out. And what do you get? You get x equals 44, I think. Let's try this one. Notice that little square there. That little square is our notation for saying that something is a right angle. So this big angle here that's made up of these two small angles is a right angle. 
We know that a right angle is 90 degrees, so you come up with your equation. x plus 74 equals 90. All right? And again, we can solve that equation. Here we're subtracting 74 from both sides. Go ahead and solve that equation. And we get x is 16. Now, rather than using 1 and 2, and I know it's actually really common to label angles with numbers, I'm going to think of them as A and B, because that makes it easier for me to think about um, that those are variables representing something else. The measure of angle A is 42.8. So we know that 42.8 plus X equals 90. So if we subtract 42.8 from both sides, we now know that the other side is 47.2 degrees. And again, I'm going to insert that actual uh, symbol. Degree, there we are. Likewise with this one, well, if we know angle 2 is 65.2, and let's call this one x, so we could say x plus 65 point, oh sorry, 65.6. I don't know why I said 65.2. And that has to equal this straight angle, which is 180 degrees. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract that 65.6 from both sides, just like we did in our equations unit. And we're going to have our x equals 114.4. Oh degrees, I'm going to copy that degree symbol, control C, control V. Now how did we know? Well we knew the angles were complementary, right? And here the angles were supplementary. Alright. Now let's read our situation, see if we can come up with a picture for it. And since we're dealing with angles, it'd be really nice if we draw rays. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our... Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to be able to change the size of the ray. So let me go ahead and change this back down to that. All right. Oh, maybe I'll just take the border off entirely. Not going to worry about it now. All right. So two angles are complementary. That means they have to. Two angles have to add up to a 90 degree angle. So let's make a 90 degree angle. We'll make the ends, and we'll make this one vertical. So now we've got our right angle. Now normally I would draw the little square in there, especially if I had pencil and paper, but I don't right now. And then we know that one of the angles measured 15 degrees. Now I'm not going to draw something that's exactly 15 degrees, but I can pretend that my drawing is good, and I know that 15 degrees is relatively small. So let's assume that right in here is 15 degrees. And again, I'm going to copy that degree symbol from there. It's 15 degrees. Well, let's see what equation would we would come up with. Well, we know that those two have to add up to, so let's make this other side x. Well, then we know that x plus 15 has to equal 90 degrees because they told us they were complementary. They have to add up to 90. And that gives us that x, if we subtract 15 from both sides, x equals 75. And again, that's going to be degrees. These two angles are supplementary angles. So we can think of ABE and DBE. So let's go ahead and draw a situation like that. Now, 
First, I'm going to draw the straight angle, just because I think that one's easier to do. And then I'm going to draw something that is 61 degrees, or thereabouts. And no, your angles don't have to be perfect. Um, because, But it is convenient if they're sort of close to the right value. All right, so let's label this side D and B, because B was always our vertex. We'll call this one A. And so we have A, B, E, and uh, D, B, E. So those two angles are sorry, supplementary. Now, if this one here, A, B, E, on this side, is 61 degrees. But yes, I still have the degree symbol in there. We want to figure out what that other one is. Let's label that other one Y. So we know that Y plus 61 has to equal 180. And that means our angle, our Y, equals 119. So angle DBE here, angle DBE, let me go ahead and grab our angle symbol. Where's my angle symbol? Oh, it's not on this page, it's on the other page. Control C. So our angle DBE equals, or the measure of our angle, is 119 degrees. Okay? So we've learned some key vocabulary word. We've talked about complementary and supplementary angles. You're going to have an assignment associated with this, and you may have even watched another video with it. Um, but that's what we've covered. Go ahead and describe it as you understand it. And then go ahead and complete the assignment. It'll either be in Alex or in Khan Academy. Thank you. Bye.